Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I've been very, very busy today getting all the foods ready, getting everything ready so that way in the morning I can get up and I can get everything done so that way we can relax, watch the eclipse, and have um, a luncheon with our neighbors. I'm so excited about that. Uh, menu plan, big pot of chili, cornbread, deviled eggs, and cherry cobbler. I'm going to do a different recipe on my cherry cobbler this time. Since I got that bag of cherries from the pantry yesterday, I'm going to use that and I'm going to use a yellow cake mix and try to do a cake mix topping on the top of it instead of like a crisp or a pie crust. I'm hoping it works because if it doesn't, I'm really going to be upset. I mean, there's no, there's no trial and error here. It's trial and hope for no error. So that's going to be our meal to watch the eclipse. Um, my husband already has our welding hood set up. He put two panels, two of the lenses in there. So that way, you know, we were making sure that we were above 14 shade. Um, when we did our research, 14 shade is good, but we're going to kind of go up above. I think one of ours is going to be 15 and one of them is going to be 16. I want the 16 one. <laughs> I'm just saying. So we've got all of that ready and really excited. I'm just excited to see it. I'm excited that we're here and we're going to have the neighbors up and out and over and, and just eat and have a great time. So, um, I want to talk about something very important to me as a, someone who is prepared or prepper. Um, I'm really curious if, I will always see this as a conservative Republican MAGA kind of movement because I am certainly none of those. I am certainly not a conservative. I'm certainly not a MAGA and I'm certainly not going to vote Donald Trump. But with my name, it's hard for me to go in and make comments. Sometimes I get shadow banned or blocked or whatever. Um, the Midas touch. I do not like Michael Cohen. I do not care if he has repented of all of his sins. I, I don't care. You work for the man for 10 years. I have no respect for you, period. And so that's been a real issue with the Midas touch network, one of the channels. Um, and then that led to a problem with I've had it uh, with the two ladies from Oklahoma whom I loved until they started saying, well, if you've got the name prepper, you're a Republican conservative MAGA, you know, and it's not true. But what I want to ask you is if things were to go bad and we see all of this stuff could be chain reactions, you know, we've got the solar eclipse, um, we have, you know, things going on over in the Middle East that should not be happening. We have wars, we have threats, we have MAGA people who would shut down transport in an absolute heartbeat. They would knock out the infrastructure, um, as far as whatever needed to be like the grid or cell phones. Um, I mean, they're ready to do that and they will. It's just a matter of when that is going to happen. So my question is, do you think that it is just a movement for that group of people? If you do, then you may not be prepared for when something happens. So it's time to take a look and see what you have in your home. How long could you go without going to a grocery store or a dollar store to get toilet paper or whatever you do, your personal care items? Um, if you do not have extras of everything, then maybe you should try to be more prepared. My opinion the way that this year is going to go, I think that it is absolutely imperative to prep. I think 
that we need to get away from the stigma that it's only the, re the Republicans, the conservatives, the MAGA, the militia. We need to understand that having a stocked pantry, having a stocked medical and personal care product um, cabinet, it could help you out in the long run. And that's all I've got to say. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. I gotta go. I got more stuff to do. Bye, y'all.